hello guys and welcome back to the second last video of this tutorial and in this video i am going to show you how to how you can put your model that you have been trained on 400 epochs as we have discussed in the last video if you have not seen that video please go and check out that video first as this video is completely based on the previous one okay so in this video we are going to just copy or rather than using the word copy let me uh, use another word that is we are going to direct our uh, the model to use as a input and output generator or as a full fledged app so we have first created an app.py and then what we are going to do is simply just going to import our libraries that we are going to require cv2 and then some other libraries as well so one major uh, library over here that we are going to use is as import streamlit as st so streamlit is an a uh, server that we are going to use and uh, it is quite popular among the machine learning engineers or i so i should say the beginners so what we are going to do is simply first we are going to go back to our notebook and we are going to just import some of our optimizers and other things that we have already written alrighty so now we have our dice coefficients then loss also uh, the IOU and jacquard distance as well so now let's start the front-end coding that we are going to use now ST has many uh, many parameters as well as many functions so ST dot title that is used for uh, setting the title then we are going to use as brain MRI segmentation or brain MRI segmentation app alrighty so now we are going to load our model that we have previously saved as the unit brain MRI segmentation HDF5 so for that we are going to use as load underscore model that we have imported from tensorflow.keras.models and uh, in that what we are going to do is unit underscore brain underscore mri underscore sec dot hdf5 alrighty so now we are going to pass the custom underscore object obj object or objects that is equal to we will going to pass them as a dictionary or uh, that is that is going to be dice underscore c o e f underscore loss and that has a value of the dice coefficient loss that we have just defined earlier now another that would be i o u that will have the same as i o u and another one that is dice coefficient that is d i c e okay d i c e underscore c o e f that will have its value as dice cof alrighty so here we have loaded our model now let's just get the image underscore height that is going to be 256 as we have discussed earlier and image width would be the same that is 256 now we are going 
uh, what we are going to do over here is we are going to load our model that is file uploaded file and I'm going to name it uh, just as file so file equals to st.file uploader here uh, streamlit has a very cool feature called file uploader that will uh, input the files that we are requiring and uh, upload a file will be the title among the dropbox as well as the type uh, we can specify as png jpg or jpeg now if you want you can uh, add some more titles or you can just customize as per your needs so one of uh, let's do one thing let's just add one more parameter accept multiple files equals to true so that we can do our work smoothly so now what we are going to do is if file that is if a file is been uploaded then we are just going to sc dot header header means the title or the subtitle of the file that we are going to add that is original image o r i g i n a l image okay let's just add a colon all right and then we are going to display our image so st.image is a function that takes the input of an image and displays it on our application or web console now what we are going to do is simply content equals to i dot get value as we know that i uh, if for i in file sorry i in, yep now so i would be the image that has been shown in the file and uh, i dot get value will extract all the uh, image or rather than its values that has been in an array and then what we are going to do is simply going to convert that into as array and then byte array of content don't worry guys if you don't understand anything you can just pin time them into comment and I'll surely try to help you out in that you int 8 and then image equal to cv2 dot i am code yep true that is image comma i am read underscore color yep true and then what we are going to do is simply image 2 let's just name it like that equal to cv2 dot resize that we are going to use resize and image comma and what we are going to image and uh, height and width would be the parameters of the resizing and then img3 let's name it like that it's just a temporary variable image 2 by 255 that we have done earlier also and uh, image 4 would be image 3 times np dot new axis comma colon comma colon comma colon or call comma also comma yep okay so now let's create a button yep button is also there to predict our output if st dot button that is the button will have a value of predict output all right if that has been clicked then what we are going to do is simply going to predict our model on image 4 and then that will have st dot header of predicted image and then we are just simply displaying our image that is red yep 
or if the button is not clicked then simply we are just going to continue all right you guys so this was the whole thing that we have done till now and uh, now what we are going to do is simply just control s so it would be saved and now let's go on to our terminal first so as you can see over here so how to run a streamlit app so st first write down streamlit and yes a uh, kind of warning that you should be in the current directory where the app that you want to run is being located streamlit then simply run and app.py so it would start running so it is currently running as you can see over here in the top right corner so our model has been loaded brain mri segmentation oh yep custom e yep let me just do that one more time custom yep custom objects yes control s and then let's just create another terminal for that new terminal and just click an upper arrow and it will directly go into that streamlit run dot pi and then okay guys so our app has started to run and this is the thing that i wanted to show you at last and finally that our app has started running and here is a drag and drop that we can use for uploading and uh, predicting the output of the images so let me show you one of that just a moment so guys this is our app and uh, let's check out one of our examples that i have already created for you guys so this is the image that we have generated or i have downloaded and then this is the button that i was talking about and in after clicking on this predict output the machine will start running and as soon as okay so over here you can see that this is exactly the same output that we are we are requiring or we are expecting to get from an mri segmentation app so this model was having uh, was having an accuracy of almost 94% uh, to be precise 93.96% and this was uh, the whole thing about the brain mri segmentation app and this is an output and also if we add just add one more image that we can see over here then you can see that uh, the two images are uh, can be there simultaneously but let's not go over there and just click on predict output once again and check it out once yep works perfectly fine and this was whole the whole thing about the brain MRI segmentation app uh, and let's go over here yep so as you can see over here this is the notebook and, uh, and also the binary file of the models that has been over here if we want to see the accuracy of my 400 epochs then this is the accuracy which we can see and also the loss let me show you once loss yes this is the loss that I was getting uh, on the training set and this is our streamlit app which we can deploy on the streamlit server as well if we want just we have to link our github repository or you can just uh, check out my github repository and link that to that and uh, it will work fine as well so this is the thing that I was talking about in the brief video that I have uploaded previously and uh, that's all guys for this tutorial and uh, hope you like this tutorial and see you next time till then stay tuned and stay happy goodbye